Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, part two on our Windows uh, branch cache uh, configuration and installing. On the last video, we went over configuring our main site as well as creating a group policy to enable our hash production for our branch cache infrastructure, right? Uh, so, and we also created a local group policy within our main site, right? To get everything kickstarted. Uh, and also, I also created a group policy within our Active Directory to push it out to our node, okay? Uh, today, we're going to be creating a group policy to enable a couple of firewall settings within our infrastructure, okay? So, open up your group policy manager within your Active Directory. Uh, go inside your group policy object, and we're going to right-click, and we're going to create new. I'm going to call it branch cache firewall policy policies there you go and we are going to click OK awesome we're gonna find our new firewall policies for our branch cache and we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go to edit so we need to get into computer configuration go to policies within policies go inside Windows settings within Windows settings we need to go inside the security settings within here let's expand this a little bit and we need to locate uh, Windows firewall and advanced security so we're gonna click on that we're going to expand it again awesome good you want to expand it to the point that you see inbound rules and outbound rules so what we need to create is uh, an inbound rule so we're gonna right click on inbound rules Create new rule. We're going to do a predefined, and we're going to locate the branch cache uh, content retrieval uses HTTP. As this is the one that we need, and uh, we're going to click on next, next again, and all, allow all connections, and hit finish. Awesome. We got. We need to create one more inbound rule. So we're going to right click on that, click on new rule. It's going to be a predefined. And the next one that we're going to use is branch cache peer discovery uses WSD. And we're going to click on next. Okay. Click on next again. Allow all connections. Hit finish. And that's it, guys, for this video, how to configure your firewall settings for your Windows cache branch. Again, guys, stay tuned because it's going to continue on uh, with other parts. Uh, and everything's going to fit together and make sense. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.